Congratulations to all of you who are watching my last video on Thursday. You have absolutely crushed it. In today's video, we're gonna cover Bitcoin in a bunch of the alts that are about to have a massive continuation into this next bull run. Real quickly with Bitcoin, we saw a bull flag coming. We're holding this level, this key level at 51,500. It tried to break below it, could not. Now we're seeing a continuation happening on Bitcoin. Now I did talk about this in the last video that we could see the price go all the way to around $60,000 quite quickly. And the reason is there's no real evidence of us actually having a lot of resistance anywhere but around somewhere in the $55,000 range. So what that means is we could go all the way from here to 55. And what I'm thinking, I talked about on ETH happening as well, which has already broken out. So we'll look at that in a second. But what I'm telling you here is holding this level and seeing that it's starting to break above it. If today we see a clear breakout of 52,853,000, it's likely this week we could see maybe a pullback on Tuesday, but a continuation towards 55 and then $60,000 on BTC. As I reminded you guys just about a week and a half ago, I did say that Bitcoin goes on runs for about three to four weeks at a time and it does big moves in a short amount of time then it consolidates. So what I'm expecting to happen is we've gone from the 5th of February, today is the 19th, so about two weeks. We might have two more weeks, and in the next two weeks, we could see a move we saw from here that went up all the way about $10,000. We could see another move up $10,000. It seems crazy. With all this buying pressure from our ETFs and not having enough Bitcoin to buy, this is a very real reality. So you must suspend your disbelief that we're just gonna come down, the stock market's gonna blow up. Markets will stay irrational much longer than you can stay so Solve it. So start suspending your disbelief about the fact this could go much higher and faster. And yes, it's not even the having yet, but there's nothing stopping us from going higher, at least right now that I'm seeing in the markets. So keep your eyes on obviously the ETF buying pressure, but it's there. And obviously every time someone pushes it down, these wicks get eaten up and goes back higher. So I'm looking at that and going, Good opportunities here. Keep your eyes out for that. Going on to Ethereum. I talked about this one level. I said, hey, there's really not much stopping us from going all the way to 31. Why? It's a major SR level. Clearly, you could see it support here, resistance there, support here, resistance there, support here, resistance there. So it's an SR level. It's an area where the price goes higher or goes lower. Now, in between there, I said, yeah, we have something, a small amount around 28. But guys, I said it would break out of that and it's very likely that wouldn't be the level. And where are we at? And let's fast forward right now. Here today, we're at almost $3,000. 3,100 is not that far away. Ethereum is mega bullish. Bitcoin is mega bullish. The only thing you have to think of is, well, they're getting a little bit further away from the Kijin coach. But remember, that doesn't mean it's guaranteed gonna push back down. It can follow it up. And as we saw here, way back in November, we saw that it got a little bit further away and then it kind of came down a bit, but it's still the Kijin kept coming up with it naturally. So that can happen if you're in a bull market, be suspending that disbelief, it's very important. Now just to go over some of the trades from last week, Telos, we talked about Telos and it already ripped to our goal. We set the trade up, entry around uh, 23, 23 cents, 24 cents, looking for that 38 cent range because that was where our resistance was, not very strong resistance. So I said, yeah, we could probably even go to 51 cents. So that trade, if you were in it, you could have, and you probably closed it at that point. We made a three R trade. So you risk a hundred, you make 300, great trade onto the next one. Where you'd be looking now, if you're if you're still looking at Telos, is where do I go in next? We'd be looking at the breakout of this level, going towards that 51 cent level, somewhere in that range. The trade R is not as good. So we'd have to be kind of careful of that. And if you're still in the trade because you're a long-term trader like I am, then you just keep riding it up. Don't stop before you get it done. Because most of my friends like to do this one big mistake and it'll teach you something very valuable. When you close 100% of your trade that's already bullish and we're at the start of the bull market, you will never get back in a lot of the time where you bought originally. So what you should do is take a little bit of profit all as you go up, not completely close out everything, unless you're a day trader or you have a certain goal that you want to get to and you can close it. But a lot of people forget to go back in. My advice to myself is this, coach, don't sell your whole bag. 
sell 20% at a time, 25% of the time. If it goes really crazy mental ripping, take a bigger percentage and set your buy order now before you miss out on the opportunity. Many of you will make this mistake throughout this cycle if it's your first cycle and or your second cycle. So make sure that you have this plan so you don't fail. Another one we talked about last video and I've been telling you, this is my meme of the cycle since way, way, way down here when I got in at 1700. I'm up 4X on this right now. And remember the founders of SHIB are the ones who created this token. You might think I'm full of crap, but hey, have I been wrong yet with this type of stuff? When I call a meme coin, I put 20 ETH in. Do you think that I'm someone who's gonna BS you? Do I hold every single token? Absolutely. I have as many tokens as I did SHIB the day that it launched. And had I held that, it would have been $100 million. I spent a little bit more money on this one because I didn't get it at the bottom. But the point is, these types of projects come out of nowhere, have some serious backers and money behind them. And you see 10 to 20 buys here and there, especially when you think it's dead. It brightens itself back up. I would just keep your eyes on it because if you would have went in on this trade already, you'd be up, uh, I think 40% since the, the Thursday call that I made, for almost 50%. Osak is my meme of the cycle. Keep that in your mind. It's very important. I think that you guys can make a lot of opportunities come out of this. The narrative right now is very clearly AI coins. How do I know that? Well, take a look on the right over here. Every single AI coin is up at least four to 5% and every single one of the ones on this list are almost up 10%. I've been talking about these coins since the bottom. I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. My first DCA, I'm gonna go to my AI narrative coins. As you can see, Ajax is up 825%. Ocean's up 275%. Vets up 183%. Fets up 500%. RLC's up 163%. And GRT's up 300%. Had you taken $1,000 and put them in all six of these coins, you would be up right now about an average of 400%. Do the math and tell me that would not have already changed what you can do with this cycle. This is why I'm showing you these lists because I was telling everyone to look at these coins that I was buying these coins for myself so that you could do the research and be in on the right type of projects with a lot of liquidity. You can sell a lot of tokens right now and not affect the price. So even the biggest influencer, the biggest person in the space cannot screw you. That's important to me, very important. If you're someone who feels like I missed it, A, you haven't missed it most of these still have a lot more growth to come and number two i'm going to be releasing an ai video specific to coins that are in ai so you guys can see not just these coins but any of the new ones i've added to my list so keep your eyes open for that video so you don't miss out on the next set of picks that could also run that 800 to 500 percent so looking at ajix someone said i missed it to me just this weekend and i said uh excuse me it's about to go into price discovery we've talked about this many times i talked about it on osaka just recently and look where it's at it's up almost a hundred percent since the price discovery point. Now, looking at Ajax, what we can see is it's got this hardcore resistance level to break out of and we're almost at it, 58 cents. When we break, 58 cents. This is going to continue running at least four or five X this cycle, probably a lot more. AI is the narrative. At Satoshi Roundtable, we talked about crypto and AI on a lot of the roundtable discussions. I was learning from the experts and I'm telling you, these are ones that you have to look at. And if you saw what happened with Sora, you know this is the big thing because that is sick. I won't even have to do videos in, in the future. I will literally tell Sora, make a video about all the things that Coach usually talks about with Bitcoin and his trading strategy, and it will literally do it for me. This is huge. It's gonna simplify and make all of us save so much time. So AR is another one that has been ripping. I did a, I did a tweet about this at around $4, between four and 450. This is the call of the calls. And since that point, we've gone up 3X. <laughs> AR has got, just to get to all time high right now, another, what, 700%. And this will probably go much higher because as well, this has been here for a long time, many years. And not only that, it's survived the test of time, it is internet which cannot be canceled, cannot have anyone come in and change anything. It is there forever. The internet of forever is here. This is what AR does and they're AI based. So keep your eyes open for that. Another one, FET. So FET was one of my biggest winners so far, but looking at this level right here, it's almost about to go into price discovery as well. We see that clearly on the chart right here and FET's another one that stood the test of time. It was way too early when it came out for anyone to really even realize. So 
it had this beautiful cup and handle trade that came and then it broke out from 21 cents to 89 cents where it currently sits. And if you guys believe in AI like as much as I do and you see the hundred billion dollars put into just into AI infrastructure right now from funds, do you not think this is gonna continue to grow? These are billions of dollars of market caps that can go to billions of dollars more. I know you're thinking, well, well coach, like I can only make a five, 10 X, I won't change my life, but you're much better off doing more of this stuff and a lot less of the high risk stuff so that at the end of the cycle, you're net positive because you go mostly degenerate stuff. You might get lucky once or twice, but likely you're gonna let, get wrecked at some point and you're gonna lose a lot of your value that you captured from good projects. So if it's me, I'm only sticking with 10% of my portfolio, maybe 20% of my portfolio, depending on how big it is in the stuff that's higher risk. Make sure that you also capture some blue chips. And if you use the high risk stuff and you make a bunch of profit, put some of it into blue chips. It's a lot less risky, a lot better way to, to make money and a lot better way to not lose your ass. Okay, here's another great one, Filecoin. Now they had an epic rip on the start, right? They went to $240. There was a little bit of controversy. Now they're starting to come back. Filecoin is one of those ones that could easily go by like eight to 10 X in the cycle. And if it goes to its all time high, I mean, damn, if it gets there again in this cycle, you're looking at an, at least the 35 X. This is one that like no one believes could go there. I think it easily could get back to 50 bucks. Something that you should be looking at another AI narrative. Now, another one, I'm gonna go over two more quickly and then we're gonna be done today. It's GRT. Now I talked about GRT a lot. I bought it in January of last year, right around where my list came out. It was at seven cents, six or seven cents, I believe when I bought it. Today, it's 26 cents. So I'm up 250%, 300% from the actual bike. GRT, great project, has a huge amount of potential just to get an all-time high. We're looking at three bucks. So you have at least a 10X potential in that. Great opportunity, high uh, value, low risk project. Last up is Ocean. Now Ocean, someone said to me, well, coach, there's not as much of an opportunity here because like it only go to all-time high. It came out the start of cycle last time, but now all the tokens are out and now AI is a narrative. Keep your eyes on, on Ocean. I think all of these coins I'm talking about and the last one obviously is VET, which I talked about last week. <laughs> I was talking about it before it broke out. Now it's gone on a rip. It's all the way to 4.6 cents. It's going towards six. Remember this all time high would be around 28. Still great opportunities for you to get in. And remember, if certain narratives go higher than their last cycle, like Bitcoin does, not all of them do, but top hundreds generally do, as long as you're in the right top hundreds, you can see see that if it goes to a new all-time high, it might double what the last all-time high was. And these are ones where you can sit back and relax and take profit as they go higher at all the different levels that you can see on this chart. So I'm gonna end this video here and I'm gonna let you guys know that you gotta keep out an eye out for my other AI narrative picks. Keep your eyes out for ETH hitting 31. Keep your eyes out for Bitcoin ripping to 5560. A lot of this is gonna happen much faster and if you don't take action, you're gonna watch it do it and go, oh, maybe I'll buy back in later and it might not come back to your buy price.